To use the mobile app pop-up, make sure you're in the forms area and in the promotions tab. Then click create promotion. Give your promotion a name and click save and continue. Now just find the mobile app template, which is here and click select. And here we go. The first thing you can decide on is whether you want the pop-up to be as seen here or in the bottom right corner. You can also change it to the left corner by using additional settings here. You can also have the image on the top if you'd like or on the bottom as originally. You can also have a bar on the bottom instead of having the pop-up show in the middle or in the corners. Now, of course, you can also change this position to the top here. But let's just look at the original setting, which is just a normal pop-up right in the middle. And let's look at the design settings here. Here we can change the background color. The close button is right over here. We can change that, for example, to black if we want and create a hover color. I mean, change the color to red. You can see the changes here. And that's what we can do with every single one of these elements. Here we have the title. We can also edit it by clicking it and any other elements, linking it to anything we want. And I like to open link in new tab. There we go. Now we have the link here. If we want to change and edit the buttons, we need to click this little edit button right over here. And here we have all the settings for that. You can have App Store or redirect to something or just close the pop-up if someone clicks the primary button. Here is the place to, uh, to put the redirect link. We can also change the link type. For example, Play Store, you can see as it changes here. Windows Store, Amazon Store, whatever you need. And here is the second button. We have the same settings for that. Let's just cancel. And we have the different edits for the disclaimer. Also, different colors, different fonts. You can change, like I said, anything you want here. And that's basically it. This is pretty simple. You can use this if you have your own app, of course. This is very helpful to encourage people to install your application. But you can also use this if you're writing um, an article about an app you love and you want, it, want to make it easier for people to install that app. You can also use that and put this on a specific page. Once you're done editing your pop-up, just click Next. And here are all the settings. Here is the time you want the pop-up to wait until it shows. Of course, you can also have the pop-up show once someone scrolls to a certain percentage of the page, or you can have it show when someone is leaving this specific tab in his or her browser. It's not going to be um, very disruptive, so it's going to pop out, but the person is still going to be able to close the page. No problem with that. This is the frequency, so it can show uh, once a month or once a week. This means that the person will visit the page, the pop-up will show up, and the next time the pop-up will show up will be in a month. It's not going to show every time the person visits the page. Here we have a schedule. If we want to have the pop-up only show on a specific time from and to date, and of course, we can show on all the pages, hide on a specific page, or only show on a specific page. This is what we would do if we have an article about a specific uh, app, uh, like I said earlier, where we want to promote a specific app and want someone to install it. We would only want this pop-up to show on that specific page. We can, of course, hide it on desktop, mobile devices, or tablets if we wish. Save and continue once you're finished. Here is the code we use on our website. If you use WordPress, just use the plug plugin. If you use Shopify, just use our app. If you have a website uh, with a different CMS, there's usually a place where you can put this and you only need to put this once for, for all the pop-ups, for all the pop-ups you'll be ever creating in MailerLite. Next, once you're done, and here we have a quick overview. You can turn the pop-up here edit the design right over here, change the behaviors here, and here is the JavaScript snippet I was talking about earlier, the code you put on your website. You can also have the pop-up show when a subscriber, when a visitor of your website clicks a specific part of your text, a link in your text or an image or anything you want. You would be using this, just follow the instructions here for that. 
And that's pretty much it. Once people start signing up, or actually in this case, clicking a specific button on your pop-up, then you will see this the stats grow here. That's all for the mobile app pop-up. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe, use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again and see you in the next video.